Five, they banded together to protect three giant sequoia trees in the East Moreland neighborhood. And now leaders of the tree protests say they're going to have to deal with a developer to buy the land and we'll keep updating you on that situation. But that deal should be final by the end of the week. But we wanted to know why this uproar had to happen when the city of Portland has adopted a new tree code this year specifically to protect these kinds of trees. So Lisa Balick spent the day asking tough questions. And Lisa, what did you find out? Now, I learned the new tree code is to protect trees on both public and private property. The goal of the city to, is to have a third of the trees covered with tree canopy in the city. But I found out the new tree code has some gaps. This is not right! A Portland neighborhood thrust into a frenzied race to stop chainsaws of development from toppling majestic trees to make way for homes. I wanted to find out why this battle began after the city had already approved a new tree code this year. Take a look. The city's website clearly says the code is designed to protect trees during development. I went to City Hall to get answers. I was told Commissioner Amanda Fritz, who's in charge of the Bureau of Development Services, was not in today. So I headed to the Bureau of Development Services to find out why, when the tree code clearly says preserve trees as a community asset, the city would green light cutting down the sequoias. How is it possible that a developer could go in and be allowed to cut down those trees? There's a number of different competing aspects that the city was taking into consideration with the new tree code. Um, and like I said, it's a new set of code. There's an oversight committee that's hearing the different concerns that are coming up, and they'll be making recommendations at the beginning of next year to council. I confirmed the city did give the developer the permits needed to remove the trees. So I tracked down a former landscape contractor and tree expert who pushed the city to come up with the tree code. I found out he too says it needs more work. People thought the tree code, though, would have kept this from happening. It was supposed to, but there has been a lot of waiving of certain rules and regulations by Bureau of Development Services to go ahead and allow infill development and densifying Portland. Now, keep in mind, with this new tree code, you have to get a permit, even on your own property, and that bothers a lot of people. They have to get a permit to cut a tree down. This is the paperwork you have to fill out, and you also have to pay some money to do that. If not, if you don't get the permit and get caught, the fine, $1,000. Again, we'll have more on this coming up tonight at 6. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Okay, Lisa, see you then. Thank you for the update. Well,